time for a three minute skill build. How do we use area to find the dimension of a rectangle? Let's see this problem right here. The area of a rectangle is 15 square feet. So I'm gonna put that in. And the width is two and a half feet. What we don't know is the length. Think back to elementary school and we do know the area for a rectangle is length times width. So watch how I use my math thinking and fact families to figure out that missing dimension. To be able to do this, all you need is the area and at least one of these dimensions, either the width or the length. If you have one, you can figure out the other one. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write in my problem, area equals length times width, and put in the information we know. The area is 15 square feet, and we know the width is two and a half, but we don't know what the length is. So just take a minute and think. Two and a half times something makes 15. I don't know what that number is, but I do know that I can use my fact families to rewrite it. So I'm gonna rewrite this as a division problem. 15 divided by two and a half will give me that missing dimension, that number. This is something we know how to solve. We know how to divide with fractions. Turn both numbers into fractions. 15 over one divided by five over two. And now use your algorithm to solve it. 15 over one times two fifths gives us 30 over five, which can be simplified further to six. That's our missing dimension. The length is six feet. And as always, we check our work. Let's draw a nice little line so we have it. And we're gonna do a check using the same information. Area equals length times width. So 15 is equal to two and a half times six. We're gonna simplify this, uh, this expression on the right side. So I'm gonna multiply fractions. Let's turn them into fractions, five over two times six over one. And you're gonna get 30 over two. 15 equals 30 over two. Let's simplify that even more. 15 over two is the same as 15. So both expressions are true and we're correct. And that's how we use at least the area and one dimension to figure out the missing dimension. Hey, pause, jot this in your notes, and you're gonna use this in future lessons, Math Marbles.